everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm here with a project share i have been using the garden party collection and i wanted to come on and do a share i also use my tonic dyes so i think i'm a week late but this is a vr for the tonic tuesday fun which is hosted by joyce i'll link her channel down below um, but for this project, I used the Tonic Tantalus gift box die set. I picked this up, ooh, I think I, earlier this year. I don't know when I picked it up, but it was on a sale. So it may have been a Black Friday purchase, but it was marked down significantly. So I finally picked it up, and this is what I was able to create. I used the Garden Party Collection once again. Um, I made a single version, and then I made a... Um, double version so let's look at the single version so ideally it stands up it's supposed to have like these are mimicking decanters so it's like a decanter holder this moves and if the box is in there and you can take it out so I made this one completely out of acetate and then I added in pattern paper so the base of the box is just clear acetate and then I added panels. I created a shaker over here using buttons galore mixes and sequins and sprinklets and stuff. And then I layered up the chipboard pieces. There is a brad in here and I just covered it with a jimmy and this is a bow from Sparkling Ghoul. This uh, metallic paper is from Tonic as well. It is there. It is their Rose Platinum Mirror Card. So it's pink, hence pink, and that. So um, I use the layering piece to add the details. You can see them better on the back. To the front, and then I added a beautiful flower created by Lori. I just changed out the center um, to have pink instead of gold. And just did some more layering and did the same thing to the side. So that's how that looks. Added some feet on this. Here is my box. I kept it super simple. This is one of my favorite prints from the um, collection. I added feet onto here and I did add the paneling on the sides. You can't see it because it, it goes inside. And I did stitch all around. I stitched before I realized that the panels pretty much cover all of the stitching. So um, that's why I left it you know, bare on the front. It does have a little closure. The top comes off. This is how that looks. So there is the first one. And I'm not sure what I'm going to fit in here. I think I'm going to make some bows or some mini flowers and put them in here. Maybe my vellum flowers. But I love it. It's a perfect little way to give a gift. All right. So here is the second one. Um, I made a double holder for this one. Again, I use the Garden Party Collection for everything. The holder is made with one 12 by 12 sheet from the garden party collection for the entire thing and then I just added layers um, you can't tell but I have the gold pieces here and it's a different design than this one um, I use the florals for this one and this is just matte gold recollections cardstock that I used here I didn't want it to be too um, shiny so that's what I used. I layered up the big chipboard piece. It's the perfect width for this. Um, and just added in some chipboards and um, what are these called? Uh, gems. And then I added feet here to that. On the sides, I have the layering pieces here. Whereas on the sides over here, I didn't put those because I did some stitching with the acetate. And here I have just some, um, it's a one inch punch that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. I used that because it mirrored the actual die that I, that came with the collection and then added the gem to the center. And they are just sitting on top of the brads with some um, glue dots. I didn't want to put any hot glue and then it not move. So that is that. All right, so let's get into these decanters here. Here is one. This one sits over on this side. So what I did was, again, I just used Garden Party Collection and the actual base paper is some Anna Griffin paper that had florals on it, but it's a great weight of paper. So that's why I used it for this. And I think it took like one and a half sheets of that paper. 
Um, and then I just added in flowers from Tay, some ribbon roses, these, um, the greenery that I cut with my silhouette, a rolled flower. I have this beautiful butterfly from Michaels and I popped that up and then added a trail of these little beads. Then I have a pearl as the top part of the, the lid and then it just opens like that. And it actually comes with a little piece like you can make it a lock. But I thought what I may do is just put a little dangle here and the person can clip it on and off. And then here is the other one. Again, I did the similar styling of these boxes. I just moved the butterflies around. I wanted it to have a shabby feel to it. So there we are. These are my boxes. And these will be a beautiful gift for someone. Not sure what I'm going to put inside or who it's going to or anything. There's That's why there's nothing in it. But I wanted to go ahead and make these and use my um, garden party collection. I think they are beautiful. So tell me what you guys think. Um, again, this is a tonic dye. And I can also see this being used. Like if you, um, especially the double one, if you glued the handles to stay in place instead of adding bread and then you can add boxes or something it reminds me of the holder for beer <laughs> so you can maybe put two of these boxes together so you have four and just change out like the tops of the boxes or something i don't know but i definitely can see myself using that holder for other projects as well and then these bottles depending on how you dress them up could be more like perfume bottles instead of decanter bottles so yeah, guys, there we are. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.